Hello CQ, hello 20 meters. Golf 5, Tango Mike Mobile. Germany 5, Tango Mike Mobile. Calling CQ and standing by. You're right there, Tim Golf 5, Tango Mike. Thanks for joining me again. Um, I thought I'd show you a little video of me popping up to a local hill a couple of days ago uh, in the evening, actually, after uh, darkness here in the UK. So it gets darker around uh, 1630 UTC these days in the UK because we're in the middle of uh, January now. So I went up to the a local hill uh, with a couple of bits of equipment you might have seen before and I had to go on 20 meters and uh, well, as you can see, it was the bottom of the screen here. What I did, I used the slide winder coil that went into the triple mag mount and then I'll show you the whip I put into here in a minute. And what you do with one of these, of course, you move the slider up and down to tune it. Further to the top you go, it's for the higher band, there's less loading there. And the further down you go, there's greater loading. So around here, for example, is where I'd probably put it on 40 metres. And up here is where I'd probably put it on 20 metres, because there's less loading. And now the, uh, the antenna worked really well. And there's two things I would say. First of all, going HF mobile is a great way of getting out and about, getting away from the noise you have at home. You'll hear a lot more and you'll end up working a lot more. And uh, even a loaded vertical on a rooftop car uh, will, will do really, really well for you. So the slide winder really did work well in terms of loading the antenna and doing a great job. Um, the whip I used, now this is, by the way, this is made by M1 ECC in the UK, M1 ECC antennas. The whip I used is from Chameleon. It's the uh, the 2.0 mil, mil whip, I think it is. Um, got it from another Emporium. This is made out of sections which basically slot in together. You've got the 3 8 thread here, which goes into the uh, slide winder coil, like so. Okay, you can see that. Hang on, sorry, we've got a lot of room in the car here. But it goes in there, all right? And, and then what you do before you screw it into there, you just basically attach these sections together. There's shock cord running through it, which you can probably see. Can you see the shock cord? Yeah, you should be able to, uh, these two sections, for example, here, look. Now I've got a shock cord there. And what you do is just slot them in together. It's about 10, and just over 10 and a half feet long, about 3.2 meters, something like that. And effectively that does a very nice job as well. And uh, on 20 meters, I had a lot of fun. Uh, the SFI, that's the slow, solar flare index even, was relatively good, it was just over 100. We had about 40 or 50 sunspots measured that day. And even after dark, when you think the higher bands are closed, there's always something happening. I heard stuff on 17, and I heard them work some DX on 20. So big thumbs up for this stuff I've got so far. I've got more stuff to try as well. And uh, But overall, go out there, mobile DX uh, hunting on HF can be a lot of fun, even with a very simple little setup like I've got here, because you can hear people. There's no noise. You can hear a lot more and uh, you'll end up working a lot more. Anyway, let me show you how I got on. I was only up there for about an hour and uh, made some reasonable contacts, I think. Let's take a look. Yeah, Victor Ocean 1, Charlie America Lima, no problems at all. About 5 and 5, 5 and 6, and the name here is Tim. Tango India Mike, over. Okay, Tim, name here is Cal, Charlie Alpha Lima. Name, Cal in the call sign. Cal in the call sign there, Tim. Your report, 5-7. And uh, have a great uh, day yourself on the radio. Bye-bye. Uh, QRZ 20 meters. This is Golf 5 Tango Mike Mobile listening. With the 8 uh, Tango W A P T. Tango Mike K3 Sierra Radio Oscar T. Okay, a couple of stations in there. The Whiskey 8 station, first of all. Whiskey 8. Whiskey 8 Papa Tango W A P T, Tim. 
Whiskey 8 Papa Tango, no problem. 5 and 7, 57, go ahead. Uh, thank you very much. You're 555-55 in northeastern Ohio. Name is Chuck, Charlie Henry United, Charlie King. Others are calling, so I'll let you go and make more contact. G5, uh, Texas, uh, Mexico, mobile, W8PT. W-A-P-T, G5TM Mobile. The pleasure's all mine, Chuck. 73, and Happy New Year to you. Take care, my friend. Bye-bye. 73, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Any other stateside, any other Canada, Golf 5, Tango, Mike Mobile, QRZ. Sierra Radio Oscar. Sierra Radio Oscar. Yeah, the call is Kilowatt 3, Sierra Radio Oscar. K3, standing room only, or serious radio operator. <laughs> Oh, uh, your report uh, this evening is 5 and 8 and 58, and the name here is Tim. Over. Yeah, very good. Tim, go 5, Tango Mike, K-G-A-Y-A. -A. Yeah, nice to hear you. Excellent on the mobile operation. Give me a little rundown on the station. You're not very strong, but I don't hear anybody hardly from Europe, so I guess you're doing pretty darn good. You're doing pretty darn good. Single report, just about a 5, uh, 5 and 1. Well, I appreciate you coming back to me, and uh, you're a beautiful signal this evening uh, to England. So thanks for the contact. Uh, Whiskey 2, Zulu Quebec, Golf 5, Tango Mike Mobile. Uh, 73 to you, and uh, best wishes as well to the new club member there. 73. Yeah, 73. Thank you. Uh, Whiskey 2, Zulu Quebec. Well, it just goes to show, doesn't it? A little uh, ordinary setup, mobile setup, far from optimal. If the conditions are in any way with you, you can make some really nice contacts. I was running 100 watts, but I dare say if I was running 50 or even 10, I would have made those, probably most of those contacts, given I was giving them 5.6, 5.7, 5.8 in some cases. Uh, one or two marginal ones, but uh, there were others I didn't film as well. I made about a dozen contacts, maybe 13, was it 13 contacts into North America in that sort of hour? So, uh, Nothing amazing, uh, but just calling CQ, um, it got a few replies back, and I got spotted once as well, which is great, which always helps on the cluster. But you know, overall, the moral of the story is, if you are having difficulty putting an antenna up at home for any particular reason, or if you've got high noise at home, if you've got a car, if you're able to, that is, if you can get into a car, get yourself a sim simple little Ampro hamstick or something similar to what I got here, and just get out in, into a somewhere which is RF quiet, it doesn't have to be by the beach, it doesn't have to be on a hill, just somewhere that there is no interference at all, plug everything in, tune it up, and you'll be amazed, A, what you can hear, and B, end up what you can work. So, um, look, give it a go if you can, if you're able to, and I think it could create a new, uh, well, maybe a new way of doing the hobby, or an alternative way, or maybe you might even open your eyes up a little bit in terms of the possibilities out there. If chasing DX is your thing, or just being able to listen to a quiet band where you haven't got S7, S8, S9 of noise. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, then it'd be great to have you subscribe and join the board. Uh, but in the meantime, take care. There's another video coming up here, and all the best to you. 7-3, stay safe. Bye-bye.